So I'm going to take you through some case presentations uh, of adnexal masses. Most are during pregnancy, and a lot of those are during the first trimester. But I used other examples just to give you some ideas uh, and a comprehensive review of what's normal and what's abnormal. Uh, for those of you who do not have the free online uh, reference, ultrasound and obstetrics and gynecology, I would recommend that you download it. This is the, the website uh, access. It's been translated in, I think, almost 10 languages now. And it's a free download, and it has in it um, a, a lot of the characteristics of various adnexal masses, the most common benign one and what's the expectation in, an, in a malignant one. So let me start with this case. So I'm gonna do like a case presentation. Usually with the audience, I can ask you questions, but you can uh, try to address these questions individually. 25 year old, referred with a left pelvic pain, that's an ultrasound of the left adnexa. So what do you think that is? Let me show you some more images. We added color to this. So this is an artifact here. And you could see that with low velocity scale, picking up all capillary, capillary flow around, I don't see any blood flow in there. So we ask the patient to come back. This is a classic hemorrhagic cyst, and I will give you the characteristics of that. Here's the same patient coming back on follow-up, and you see that this blood clot is starting to retract. So you have a fluid uh, solid level. And this reticular lacy pattern that you see inside is very characteristic of a hemorrhagic cyst. What is really critical is that your velocity scale is between five and 10 centimeters per second. Your gain is set high and your filters are set low. So you can pick up any blood flow that exists inside. So these are the characteristics of hemorrhagic cyst. And this is from the online reference book. Excellent sound transmission. It's, it looks like solid tissue, but it's really not solid tissue. It is, it is a blood clot. There's a thin reticular lacy pattern. There are temporal changes. So you bring the patient back, you will see that the clot starts to retract with a solid fluid level. I'll show you examples. When you probe with the transvaginal probe, the clot itself, because it's like jello, it will jiggles and has this specific characteristic. Extremely important not to have any vascular signals within because that would not make it a hemorrhagic cyst or a hemorrhagic corpus luteum. And as you follow up, resolution.